Look at this mud brick wall right here, okay? Or just think of a wall of a city. And then the people are protected on the inside, right? Uh, then there was an invention that came about that the, the wall didn't work anymore. You know what that is? It's a, called a battering ram. People come along, they battering ram down the wall and go in and kill all the people. No good. So the fortifica fortification for a city at that point, because of the battering, battering ram, changed. And what they did is they made, forget that, they made a wall right here made of big stones. You're looking at it for Jericho right there. Okay? And they built that, it's called a retaining wall, all the way around the whole city. And then they filled it in with dirt. Mm -hmm. Think of a ice cream cone, okay. right? Now, if you come up with a battering ram and start banging on that wall, are you gonna get anywhere? No. No. Nowhere. You're gonna ruin your battering ram. <laughs> you got the whole city behind it. You see that? And that's what a retaining wall is. And, and they stack the, the, the dirt up, you know, so that they could have their city there. And then on top of that stone retaining wall, they built the mud brick wall. So you got a double wall. You got the foundational wall with all the fill behind it. And then you've got the mud brick wall built on top of it. So when the Bible says that the wall collapsed, it's not talking about that wall right there. It's not talking about the retaining wall. Right? That's still standing today <laughs> after it got dug out and they were built in one period of time, the Middle Bronze, and they lasted into the next period of time, the Late Bronze. Uh, what it's talking about is the mud brick wall that stood on top of that collapsed off of that wall that you're looking at. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So a unique thing to Jericho, to this site, compared to all the other sites that have been dug here is when they dug this site, they found a collapsed wall. Now, I don't want you to just take my word for it, uh, for it, so, and it's gonna be next to impossible to show 48 people this, but this that I'm holding up right here, I know you can't see it in the back, is the, um, it's the excavation report from Kathleen Kenyon who dug here from 1952 to 1958. And what you can see is the retaining wall. Do you see that? The retaining wall is what you're looking at right there. And so she's saying what she found when she dug on the retaining wall, and I've just highlighted it. She didn't have it highlighted in red. I just made it red so that you could see it better. And what she wrote in there is, what does it say? Fallen red bricks. Fallen red bricks. That's not me saying that, that's her saying that. So what they found when they dug this wall around is fallen red uh, mud bricks up against this wall. And you can see how they fell. It makes a perfect what? To run up into the city. That's right. You can see this uh, building right here, which uh, the excavators, there's an Italian team working here now, they uncovered this. This is older than the retaining wall. How do we know that? Because the retaining wall cuts through that building. But what it's a good example of is you see, do you see the foundation of this building is as uh, stones and then the mud bricks on top of it. And that's what it looked like on top of this retaining wall, a mud brick wall on top of it that collapsed over. There was also another uh, brick, another mud brick wall further up that also collapsed slid down the side and over the wall, okay? Now, this is a picture from the excavation here. Kathleen Kenyon, 1952 to 1958. We brought in the only survivor from her excavation that worked under her as a supervisor, Peter Parr. We brought him here for two and a half weeks uh, uh, and, and went through all this with him but you see the retaining wall that she dug out, you're looking at it again. And what you can see at the top of it, if you're close enough, is you see the last row, the very bottom row of the mud bricks. Do you see that? Yeah. Yes. So when they dig it out, they find the last row of the mud bricks, and then they find where the mud bricks went. Where they went is down. <laughs> they find that when they're digging down, okay? Very important. 
So now what I suggest we do, and you gotta be very, very careful, and maybe this is a bad idea, but stay away from these edges. But we can just jump over into this area. Don't come close to the edge because they could uh, collapse on you. But just take a look at the retaining wall. And um, is that okay? It's okay. Though. It is okay. Yeah, but we should do it fast. Go do it. Go. What? Yeah, you can come Everybody over here. <laughs> okay, if you look right here, you see the outline, it's different color here than here? Yeah. You see that? That's what's remaining from what you're seeing in this picture of the the bottom layer of that mud brick wall. Okay? So that mud brick wall came to right here and all the way out to the edge there and up. Make sense? So where are those bricks today? Did they take them out? Yes, because archaeology, everything they find, they remove. I've been here when they were digging this particular thing out. This is a recent excavation right here. And, uh, and that's what you see. You see the mud bricks. I think it's a crying shame that they don't preserve one of the sections here. You know, so that with plexiglass, yeah. so that it doesn't, that everything melts here when it's exposed. These look like bricks and then it rains on it and then they just turn to mush. Okay. All right, let's go to the next place.